Hello everyone and welcome to the very first rant of the week. Now as the name suggests, I'm going to just going to pick whatever topic I want every week and just, you know, kind of just go with the flow. <laughs> now the very first topic I want to cover is Final Fantasy XIII 2. I'm a little behind on the game on this, I know, but I pretty much just completed the main story the other day. And I was not best pleased, to say the least. Now, a lot of people have been making a big deal out of the Mass Effect 3 ending, and according to what I've heard, it's not very good at all. But at least it has an ending. Because Final Fantasy XIII 2 does not even have that. Now, obviously, there are going to be some spoilers in this video, so if you've not completed the story of Final Fantasy XIII 2, I suggest you stop watching now. Okay? Good. Anyway, as you may have heard, basically Final Fantasy XIII 2 comes with this really horrible, disappointing, cliffhanger bullshit ending. Now say what you like about Mass Effect 3, apparently the ending's really shit, I wouldn't know, but you know, as I've already said, at least it actually ends. At least it gives you some closure, whether the closure is shit or not, I don't know. But it, it's there. It exists. Which is more than you can say for Final Fantasy XIII 2. Literally. You get to the end, you defeat the last boss, who's actually quite difficult, which is good, obviously. And then, to be continued. To be fucking continued. Are you actually sure? You know, imagine if you'd, like, spent ages doing all the side quests and blah, and doing the, like, all... 50 plus hours or whatever of content in this game, and then you finally get to the last boss and the last cutscene of this epic game. And it says, To be continued. How much would that piss you off? I mean, seriously, they're not even going to tell us anything. Just kind of like bait us a little bit, making us think, Oh, everything's great, everything's ends happily. And then actually, no. It doesn't end, it just kind of teases the ending, gives us this massive cliffhanger of what looks like lightning sitting on Etro's throne, dead, and all the world erupting into chaos as it escapes from Valhalla, and then just boop, that's it up. Now basically, according to this article I'm reading, um the director basically explains that the reason it's like this is because there's multiple time axes and multiple paradox endings hidden in the game, blah, 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 blah. And that's all fine. There's various endings. Great. Fantastic. But what I don't like is that basically what he says is that the story of Final Fantasy XIII 2 is going to extend via, via DLC. So basically what they've done is they've ended the game prematurely, giving you this disappointing cliffhanger ending. Also, they can go, here's some DLC with the real ending. Pay up, bitches. I mean, that is actually disgraceful. I was actually just disgusted when I read that, to be honest. Everyone was whining about this Mass Effect 3 Prothean DLC, and it was worth complaining about. But this seems a lot worse to me, because... At least, if they didn't take the ending away, yeah, the Prothean thing was important, but you could at least finish the game without it. They've literally just snipped off the ending, and are going to be giving it to us in DLC, which they'll probably charge like £10 for or something. I mean, that's not all that's going to be in the DLC by the sound of it. It sounds like there's going to be a side story of lightning and a couple of other battles and stuff, which is awesome, don't get me wrong, that sounds like fun, but what I don't like is the ending being taken away, just so they can rinse. How disgraceful is that? Seriously, that is taking the whole DLC thing much too far. Now, if they wanted to do like some extra endings or alternates or even more content like with the Lightning Sword story and stuff like that as DLC, I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. Alternate endings and alternate timelines or whatever, more worlds to visit, stuff like that. that, that would actually be kind of cool. I think I would quite enjoy playing that, to be honest, but forgive me if I get ang get a bit angry at the fact that they're just basically just rinsing, and it's so obvious that they're rinsing as well. I mean, if this was to do Final Fantasy XIII 3, like they needed a whole other game to expand upon, storyline, blah, 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 then, you know, I'll be a little bit miffed, but 
I wouldn't be half as annoyed, I don't think. I probably would be like, ah, oh, that's annoying, but wouldn't really think much of it. But ripping off the ending to release his DLC is actually disgraceful. Beyond disgraceful. Disgraceful doesn't even cover it, in my opinion. I mean, maybe I'm overreacting a little bit, but I don't think so. This is just the most rinsy behaviour I've seen in quite a while. And I thought the Prothean thing was really rinsy, so... That's saying quite a lot. To be honest, I think people should be paying more attention to this. Obviously, the whole Mass Effect 3 thing is creating quite the shitstorm, as it should. But, as a result, this is kind of getting ignored or left by the wayside a little bit. And I think people should be getting more up in arms about this. I mean, I don't necessarily know if it would do any good, but we should let them know that they can't get away with this crap. I mean, seriously, um, they already chop up other little pieces of the game, like the Prothean DLC as an example, and give it to us. You know, if they feel like they can get away with t cutting off something as important as the ending to the fucking game and giving it to us as DLC and get away with it, why wouldn't they? I mean, think about it. If you look at it from a company's perspective, and pretty much everyone who played the game is going to buy that DLC if they can, because they want to know how the game actually ends, don't they? So, we need to let them know that this is just not bloody acceptable. Something needs to be done here. I honestly don't know what, but th I'll think on it. You should all think on it, because we shouldn't stand for this. We shouldn't just roll over and go, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. Because if they do this once, they'll do it again. And they shouldn't. They shouldn't be able to get away with this crap. <sighs> Okay, calm, calm. <laughs> I mean, overall, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy Thirteen too. That's the annoying thing. I really enjoyed it. I thought they listened to the fans a lot and solved a lot of the problems of the original Final Fantasy Thirteen, which is great, you know? I enjoyed it very much. So it's such a shame to have it ruined at the end by all this crap and this bad feelings towards the game and towards Square. You know, it's kind of tainted the game for me now. Obviously, you know, I'm going to go back and play it every now and again, maybe try and finish some of the side bosses and stuff that I didn't bother with, but it's always going to leave a bad taste in my mouth, you know? Ugh. Anyway, guys, if you have any feedback on this, I'd be happy to hear. I really want to... I really feel like we should let the developers know that this is just not on, so... I guess if you guys have any suggestions of how to do that, then hit me with it. I'm going to think on it myself, because it needs to be productive. We can't just shout at them over forums and stuff. That's not really going to do any good. It needs to be constructive, like the Mass Effect 3 Child's Play uh, charity drive thing. Something like that would be great. But obviously, it needs to be organised. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching the first run of the week. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you again soon.